And we are back. Those people are saved. Though I must say I have to re-record the last... The, uh, not the last, but... I have recorded that already. And also the next quest, but I have to redo it because my laptop overheats it. We have 35 degrees here. And even I'm, I'm, I'm even using a, a cooling pad for my laptop, but it's still overheated. So I'll have to make sure to save every 15 minutes now, because otherwise it will probably overheat again, and I'll have to re re redo it again. All right. I heard you let those disease monsters into my town instead of killing them. What were you thinking? I couldn't kill innocent people. Tell that to the other townsfolk who get sick from their infection. Or do you only care when you'd have to deal the killing blow yourself? Your actions have forced my hand. With those infected people in our midst, there's no time left to waste. I have to settle this argument with Kientan once and for all so I can protect my town. I have the supplies necessary for survival, so maybe he will finally listen. He must declare me to be in charge of the defense of Torx Pass. For that, I need to talk to him in person. Mm-hmm. Do you think he will let you take control of the town? He must. If he doesn't, then we're all dead. Visit Kianton and ask him to meet with me. I want to negotiate with him so I can save my town. We cannot simply hide in our homes and wait for the Darkspawn to kill us in our sleep. I will wait for him in the town square. Tell Kianton to meet me there. Alright, we'll do that. Yeah, the thing is... There, there is no spread. The infection cannot spread unless you fight each other, unless you do it with blood. And they're not killing each other, so... I don't think there will be an My infection for sorry. anyone else. Is there something else? Let's take a look at these goods. We just want to sell the things that we got. So that we get closer to the 12 sovereigns that we need. I'll keep those. No, I can sell this, but everything else... Yeah, I can... What? Not what I want to do, I don't know. Asset flask can go here. And also silver chalice and topaz. And that's it. Alright. Really? We have only nine sovereigns? <laughs> I can remember the last time I talked to him and... Oh no, we have a bug here. My name's... Is there something else? Well... Is there anything else I can give to you? Doesn't look like it. I'm pretty sure it was 12 sovereigns that I gave... <laughs> that I had at, at the end. Anyways, I can't change that now. Alright, next time I save the game, I will restart the game. Just to get... Uh, rid of this bug. Hello, Keentan. Finally, Garrod's pawn comes to see me. It is about time. You demonstrated surprising kindness by rescuing the people from White Gully. I am impressed by your actions. Are you here to tell me that Garrod has come to his senses and decided that we should work together for the sake of Torque's Pass? My offer to discuss matters with him still stands. Mm-hmm. I hope you can come to a truce. Given your actions on his behalf, I very much doubt that. Unlike Garroth, I am willing to set aside our differences. I do not think that either of us wishes to see our town destroyed. We shall meet in the town square. I pray to the Maker that this meeting will serve to protect Torque's Pass. I am surprised you wish to talk to me, Garroth. Our last discussion ended with you storming off. Storming off? You haven't seen me angry, Kenton. Be thankful for that. I caught you here because it was time we decided how I'll protect Torx's pass. Your pawn does not follow you blindly. Why did you rescue those people instead of slaughtering them as Garroth asked? Because I came here to protect people, not to murder them. See, Garroth? Common sense is more powerful than fear. Those people are healthy and making a full recovery. Not that I suspect you care. I... did not think it would be safe for them to return here. I didn't want to risk the lives of my warriors. 
There are more people in this town than just your warriors, Garoth. We cannot survive without them as well. Who would tend crops, trade, or mine? You? Your warriors? <laughs> I think not. What about you, stranger? You hail from Fort Wayland's militia. How do you fight Darkspawn? Well, we, we work together in order to kill them. Maybe we should have tried harder to do so. If we bait the Darkspawn to attack in near the outskirts of the town, we can keep the people safe but still thin their numbers. And by laying traps and ambushing them, we can ensure the safety of our warriors. It will be somewhat risky, but it will protect our town. Thank you, friend. You deserve our gratitude for your help. I was afraid this meeting would descend into violence. The only violence I want involves killing Darkspawn. You've done well, soldier. No reward we give could be enough thanks. But I hope this at least represents some measure of our gratitude. There's still one more thing that must be dealt with. The matter of the main Darkspawn camp. It must be destroyed. Tell me where it is. Head to Switchback Ridge. It is not far from here, and the caverns in that area will make it an ideal location for the Darkspawn to hide. All right. If you can kill the Darkspawn there, then I am certain that we will not only survive, but prosper. May the Maker guide your hand. Alright, we received 10 sovereigns. Oh, that's nice. Let me check if I can sell more things to wherever he is. Here. Karan. Is that something... We have two. We have twenty-four sovereigns now. That's nice. Um, oh, I can sell one of the spider shields. Only one of them. And that's it. All right. We have twenty-seven sovereigns. That means we can go back to that one town and buy those elf fruits. You get firebrand because it is better than the enchanter stuff. Oh, I cannot see the information now. I know it because of you know before before it crashed on the name is that something else you can have the other enchanter stuff though all right now we can leave this place and i will save the game and then we can help the ones with the elf root and also do the other side quests up there because i don't want to do um the end of this quest quest now because I don't know if if this will um you know if this will lock me out of any anything else so let me go here first and then we can check this one as well and then we can go back to Raven's Hold all right come on. I want to do as many side quests as possible to help them as good as possible. Alright, let me save the game now and restart the game because I want to get rid of this. See you in a second. Okay, we are back. We are at Itaka's Eye. There are... Actually, I think there's one quest we can do here. Actually, two. Both of those quests should be here. We have to find kidnapped people from Denwald and also the Mabari. All right, let's take a look. There's a way and here's a way. Let's go this way first. Oh, we have a statue here. The Mabari statue. And the demon. And that's that. And there are darkspawn down there. There's an emissary, I can see him. I hope you... Uh, let's make it again just to be sure that she hits the emissary. Nice. Alright. Only the emissary is left. Of 
pockets. Alright. All the loot that we can get. Then we go down here. Elf roots. From the map I see there's another way there, but I wanted to check this first. Right. Death root. And elf root. Of course. And uh, death root that we cannot get. Ooh, these are a lot of them. And there are, is an emissary, which we need to kill first. Nice. The emissary, the emissary, the emissary. No. Nice. That's all of them, yeah. And we have three level ups. Nice. Okay. Well, I'm not saving now, because if I save... I mean, it should be good to save, of course, but... If it happens again that my game crashes... Oh, there are those people. If my game crashes again, I will have to redo it again. So obviously... and it, I mean my laptop, not my, my game. Course. Quest updated. You rescued the kidnapped villagers in Itaka's eye. So the thing is, if my laptop crashes again... I will have to redo everything for the last five minutes and I don't want that <laughs> so I'd rather not save because then uh, it's easier to find the last point where I was evasion I did this before yeah like I said so I know exactly what to choose we go for Cone of Cold here, because I want my character to go for, for Cleansing Aura. Alright. Now let's go the other way. Okay, those people will find their own way back. There's a Hurlock. Ah, no. <laughs> it's, it's just his corpse. I felt like, hmm, a herlock this close to the way and I didn't see him? Can't be. And that's not the case. Well, all right. This is uh, out. This is the end of this area there. So let's go this way. All right, I see. Are there any... I'm not sure if there is a... Emissary? Oh, this looks like an emissary. Let me put it on him then. Uh, if you need Cone of Cold, what would I put it f What would I remove then for Cone of Cold? Actually, I can't remove anything. Let me remove this and put Cone of Cold here instead. It would freeze people. Alright then. What the fuck? You just run back? Why didn't you do it? More dark spawn, I see. All right, we hit most of them. That's great. And now only the emissary is left. Alright, now let's loot. And then let's take care of this demon. As you desire. For the That was easy, yeah. 
All right, let's go on this way. Death root and elf root we have here, and another statue up there. All right. And there are dark spawn there. I already know that I will find an emissary here, so I will hit him like this. Direct. Perfect. That's that. That should be fun. Some of those enemies in this area are not that strong as those enemies from the beginning area. Or from other areas, I mean. So it's very easy to defeat those. I mean. I don't complain about it. I'm just saying that because I've of noticed course. it. But it's alright for me. Here's another demon. And that's that. I'm not quite sure what this is about, but I've found three of those statues so far and they are summoning demons if you if you interact with them okay this is going this way we can go this way still but i want to save the game before i do anything here because you know i see you in a second okay there we are let's take the elf root first and then let's talk to this mabari finally you have come to look for them Wait, you are not that Mabari loving human. Hmm, and you are no ordinary Mabari. I would know the stench of a demon anywhere. They speak nothing but lies and deceit. There is no need to malign that which you do not understand. All I long to see is the master of this dog. Hmm. Is it too much to ask you to help me find him? Just give me directions and I will be very grateful. Hmm, why would you want that? I simply wish to observe the love the man has for his animals and his wife. That is all. I mean them no harm. Of course not. Hmm, how do I know you're not lying? Demons can't be trusted, no matter the words they speak. I shall make a promise to not harm the owner or his wife. They will not come to harm due to my actions. Uh, what about the village then? Or the Mabari? Hmm. Tell me why I should help you. The farmer will give you a great reward for returning his dogs alive. And I could grant you a boon. If you help me, I will make you more powerful. But you're an abomination and must be killed. Let's hope it works this time. Last time when I clicked on this, that was the moment my game, my laptop heated up. Okay, now it works. Alright. No? She just disappeared? Ah, there she is. And the Mabari. We have to kill the Mabari. Alright. I have suspected as much. So, let's use that on her. I'm not sure if it worked. Apparently she was able to hit us away. But, it is kind of working still. Let's concentrate on her. Can you Winter's Grasp her? Yes. It didn't work? Okay, but we still defeated her. Nice. So, sadly, the other Mabari also dead. Naral's Mabari had been possessed by a demon. You killed the demon and the Mabari. You should return to Naral in Denwall to tell him what happened. Alright. We have a level up. We are going now fully on willpower because we don't need more magic. Willpower is depends on how much mana we have. I mean, it means how much mana we have. And we go for master combat training. Do I need that? I don't know if I need it. Let me see. Um, 
to get to cleansing aura i will need a bit more but i want to, ah yes i remember i want to use the uh re-specialization so i can get my cleansing aura going all right then in my inventory i have this let's drink it and then let's go we need wait a second i think we need 35 for this we need 27 all right no actually we don't need that what do we need for haste we need 30 magic i think 30 is what we needed because we're not going for mass paralysis we only need miasma so 30 30 magic all right 30 magic we need 16 in cunning so that i can get my coercion a bit higher and then i can put a lot in willpower let me put those on 12 and 12 uh constitution i would need 10 more in willpower at least maybe summon dexterity so that i get not hit that much Obviously, we are an arcane warrior. Uh, and the spirit healer as well. Um, let me put the rest of it into constitution. Mm, yeah, let's do it like that. Next. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. All ah, right, that doesn't we have to go for four coercion that's the what, what i needed all right then we are an arcane warrior we need those up to four those actually we don't need that because she's doing that already that is needed heal just in case we need it haste of course and then we go up to miasma and we have three left okay what could i do um i could put my okay fate shroud is not possible uh aura of mites yeah i think let's go that way because we don't need the weapons as she is doing that already and we have everything else cleansing aura can be activated because we have enough mana now aura of might the arcane warrior's prowess with combat magic grows granting additional bonuses to attack defense and damage while in that mode yes Shimmering Shield. The Arcane Warrior is surrounded by a Shimmering Shield of energy that blocks most damage and grants large bonuses to armor and all resistances. When active, however, the Shimmering Shield consumes mana rapidly. Alright, that is a lot. I'm not sure if I will ever use it then, because we also need to use Cleansing Aura for the rest of our people for the rest of our gang. <clears throat> Fate Shrouds, the Arcane Warrior not only partly exists in the physical realm while combat magic is active. Spanning the gap between the real world and the Fate grants a bonus to mana regeneration and a chance to avoid ta attacks. Okay, let's only go for Shimmering Shield once we have Fate Shroud active. Once we have the passive here, because otherwise we'll have too much mana loss. Um, I have one left. Should I put it somewhere? I don't think I need it anywhere. Yeah, I don't need it anywhere. Let's put it into Arcane Boat just to have that power somewhere. Uh, again, I have to reorder this here. Let me do this off, uh, off camera. Hmm? What is this? I have another level up. How did it come? I have 10 more. Where did this come from now? Um, okay. Oh no, I don't need any more magic. Put this here and this to 20. Alright. I don't know. Have I missed those? Weird. Anyways, I'll do that off uh, without recording. So you don't have to see that. Uh, yeah. And this is also the end of the episode because we're already almost, not almost, but we are close to 30 minutes and I'm not risking that my computer is burning up again. So see you next time.